Governor Dakbo Abiodun of Ogun State on Friday extended the lockdown LA imposed on Ogun State by one week as part of moves to curb community spread of the virus, saying there would be a strict enforcement of face masks and a ban on interstate vehicular movement. He, however, said the window of relaxation usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday stands as residents would be allowed to have relaxation between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday and Friday this week. Governor Abiodun, who addressed the press briefing on Friday evening at the governor's office in Abiokuta, expressed concern that the number of COVID-19 cases had risen to 100 in the last one week. Joining us via telephone is Kenneth Ebrisam, Commissioner of Police, Ogun State. Good morning and thank you for joining us on the news. Good morning. The federal government recently issued a directive against the interstate travel due to COVID-19. Can you tell us your experience enforcing this directive and the level of compliance? Now, well, the, level, the level of compliance to some extent has not been satisfactory uh, because some motorists are still defying the orders of the federal government. Uh, but the security agencies are very firm in ensuring free compliance and the violators are being uh, their vehicles are uh, impounded and um, they are being profiled and other necessary actions follow. So it has not been very, very satisfactory. Uh, they are giving the security agencies a very hard time. Nigerians should learn how to obey laws and directives from a consulted authority. So that has been my experience so far. Why do you think that despite the presence of security operatives, some individuals and drivers still manage to sneak into neighboring states? Uh, well, the, the, you know, there are some exemptions of vehicles carrying food, fuel, and drugs during restriction. What the strategy they adopted is some meters to the checkpoint, they will disembark their passengers. Maybe if they're carrying cattle or food, then they will not drive further inward. Then the passengers will not pass from a track, a track a, a windows or bushes and go and converge in the front and board the vehicle. So when we, 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 we discover this strategy, we decide to be doubling the checkpoint to checkmate that uh, infraction. Okay, the peculiar issues posed by the Nienes of Ogun to Lagos comes to mind. Some people work in Lagos and live in Ogun State, and they're usually barricaded while returning home, especially on the Lagos Ibado Expressway. How do you see this development? Well, the governor specifically stated in his broadcast that those working in Lagos State and residing on Inogu State will not be given ease of passage. And I think the two governments of Lagos State and Ogu State have worked this out at that governmental level. So they are aware of that situation that if they are working in Lagos and residing in Ogu State, they cannot move vice versa because of the interstate uh, lockdown of travelers. Well, did, did, did the plan maybe take into consideration those who are essential workers who are, for instance, in the media, they live in Ogun and they work in Lagos? Um, you, you have to understand two things. The two things you will understand is that restriction is different from poverty. Coffee means total cessation, stoppage of all human and vehicular movement as from it, irrespective of whether you are essential or non-essential. 
But in terms of restriction order, the essential workers are allowed during the restriction order. But when it is coffee, it is total. No vehicular and human movement. You should stay wherever you are as from 8 p.m. till the following 6 a.m. in the morning. All right. Uh, some officers have been accused of taking advantage of this situation to extort money and also alleged to have perpetrated some human rights abuses. What's your reaction to this? Uh, please uh, let us not uh, dwell on hearsay. I personally was out to monitor the process. I went to Brewery Roundabout. I went to Iyanamotuari Junction and other important places. You cannot come and see the number of violators. And they were stopped, no movement. So I wonder where that extortion was coming from. I was personally out to monitor the process. So if anybody has reasons, we have made our numbers available. Up to now, I've not gotten any report from any individual that he was extorted. So as far as I'm concerned, that issue is a hearsay issue which is not admissible. If anybody feels that he has been shortchanged, he should call the relevant numbers we have given up and lay his complaint, and action will be taken accordingly. Moving on now. A few weeks ago, you gave us a briefing on the security threat posed by some cult voice in Ogun State, the one million boys, among others, and insecurity that occurred during the lockdown. Is there any update on that? Uh, we have been able, you see, when you say one million boys, it's in the manipulation. Miss Grant, area boys, parties are the people we have been contending with, and we have been able to tame them. Uh, we have pockets of uh, court activities and arrests but it's not in the dimension that it will disturb the policy. We are actually in control. So there have not been major breaches arising from parties activities in Ogu State. All right, thank you very much, Commissioner, for your time with us on the news, and please stay safe. Thank you.